This is a message to parents from the Children's Justice Foundation. As responsible parents, we protect our children by teaching them the rules and regulations of water safety, fire safety, and bicycle safety, among others. This videotape will help you and your child learn the most important safety lesson of all, body safety. We urge you to watch this videotape with your child or a child you care about for it's important to take the time to be supportive and available for any questions they might have. If you feel awkward or embarrassed, you should direct the questions to someone else your child feels comfortable with. Above all, the child must receive the answers and the information that will help him or her deal with a dangerous situation. This videotape is not meant to scare, but rather to educate. Children need to learn the words and phrases they hear and read on this videotape and use them to say no, to tell their parents if something is wrong, and to be able to avoid dangerous situations. Adults, in turn, must learn to listen and must give their children the freedom to tell. everybody this is your kids stuff video book as you listen to the okay to say no story you can read along with the words at the bottom of the screen get ready now for it's okay to say no Hey, kid, your mom asked me to pick you up and give you a ride home. She seemed kind of sad. You better hop in. The person in this car offers you a ride home. What do you do? I'm not supposed to ride with people I don't know. You say no and run away. Sometimes it's okay to say no to an adult. Never talk to strangers. <laughs> Will you help me, please? My puppy wandered away. He's so tiny, and I know he's afraid. I don't know where to look, and I'm sure he's hungry. Will you help me look for him? This man offers you a dollar to help him find his lost dog. It's very sad that he lost his dog. But adults do not come to children for help. Adults ask adults for help. I'm sorry you lost your dog, but I haven't seen him and I can't help you. A neighbor invites you into her house. She wants to return something that she borrowed from your mother. Come in, Billy. Last week your mom loaned me a book and I'd like to return it. Have a seat and I'll get it for you. Would you like some cookies while you wait? I think I'll wait outside. It's such a nice day anyway. If being inside the house makes you feel weird, simply wait outside or leave. That is your right. Someone says something to you about sex or love. Hey kid, you know where babies come from? I got a book with lots of neat pictures. Want to take a look? No, thanks. This is something I need to talk to my mom and dad about. Leave and tell your mother and father. Tell the person that you don't discuss that without your parents' permission. Hi, son. I've got a very special secret surprise in my car just for you. But you're going to have to do something for me first. This is going to be our secret, just between you and me. How about it? Someone asks you to keep a secret. What should you say? 
No. I'm not supposed to keep secrets from my mom and dad. Say no. Some secrets are good, like what you got your mom for her birthday. Some secrets are bad. You need to tell your parents about these. Look here. I've got some great gifts for a kid just your age. How about it? Take your pick. This man offers you money or gifts. What do you say? You have to ask permission from your mom or dad. You should say no. No! Hey, little girl. I just bought a super new camera and I want to try it out. How about being my model and posing for me? You're such a pretty little lady. Maybe I could even get them printed in a magazine. What do you say? If someone asks to take your picture, say no. Then tell your mom and dad. No! Hi, kid. You live around here? By the way, my name's Rudy. What's yours? When someone asks where you live or what your name is, say no and run home to tell your mom or dad. If you hurt yourself and your mom and dad aren't there, what do you do? There are times when people we don't know can be helpful. Say, are you all right? That looks like a nasty scrape. Let me help you up. You'd better go home and let your mom check it out.
right to make you feel uncomfortable, and no one has the right to touch you. Say, fella, what you got in that bag? Wow, you got some big muscles. That looks like a heavy package. I'll bet you're really strong. You have the right to say no. No! There are lots of people who touch us, but they shouldn't touch your private parts. Private parts is the area that is covered by your bathing suit. Moms touch us. Now put this book away and go to sleep. You've got a big day tomorrow. Dads touch us. Okay, son, that's my big fella. Get on out there and win one for your old dad. Grandpas touch us. You know, Davy, you're just like your dad when he was your age. Grandmas touch us. And because you've been such a good girl, Amy, I've baked your favorite pie. Our friends, brothers, and sisters touch us. All right, Jerry, this is a big game for us. Give it all you got, and good luck. Touching should never be scary to you. If you don't want to be touched, you have the right to say... No! And remember, it's always okay to tell if someone does touch you. Mommy, when I stopped to get a drink of water at the fountain in the park, a man put his arms around me and lifted me up. What you need to feel warm all inside You know when it's right You feel good and happy There's not a single doubt in your mind If touching is scary Then you know that it's wrong Don't ever be afraid to say Don't touch me And simply walk away such great fun when there's love deep inside but some people touch in ways that are wrong you know exactly just what i mean no one has the right to make you feel bad don't ever be afraid to say don't touch me and simply walk away don't touch me
tell your folks where you are playing. I'm going to Mark's house to play ball. I'll be home at 4 o'clock. But Mom has his phone number if you need me. It's always a good idea to walk with a friend. I'm glad I caught up with you, Tommy. I'm heading for the store, too. Let's walk together. It's also a good idea to get your mom and dad involved in your sports. You know, son, I used to be a pretty good ball player when I was your age. Want to try to beat your old man? Mom, these are my very best friends. Sally helps me with my homework, and the boys always make us laugh, but they're very careful not to break anything. Always tell your parents who your best friends are and why. get nosy and such do you ever wonder why your parents act as they do it's just because at one time they were little like you so tell your folks when you go out to play let them know where you are every minute of the day you need to tell them who your friends are and why it may come in handy later on sometime What makes you happy and sad Don't ever be afraid to tell them anything at all And anytime you need help, you know who to call So tell your folks when you go out to play Let them know where you are every minute of the day You need to tell them who your friends are and why It may come in handy later on sometime Something about what happened earlier today You think that mom and dad won't understand But give them a chance, you'll find a helping hand So tell your folks when you go out to play Let them know where you are every minute of the day You need to tell them who your friends are and why It may come in handy later on sometime So tell your folks when you go out to play let them know where you are every minute of the day. You need to tell them who your friends are and why. It may come in handy later on sometime. Is this a bad person? He could be! So could he. Okay, guys, let's get out there and really do a good job. So could this babysitter. Eddie, please get the baby's bottle for me. Or him. Hey, 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 it's dancing time. A bad person is not always mean or ugly. What does a bad person look like? 
Is he ugly and mean? Does he smell? Does he wear a tall black hat? Sheets and stuff like that? Sometimes you just can't tell. Not every time. You can't always say. Looks can be deceiving in many ways. You gotta be careful. And that's for sure. Cause a bad person just might be a friend of you. What does a bad person talk like? Is he whiny or loud? Does he scream? Is he sneaky and sly? Does he look you in the eye? Is he the guy in all your bad dreams? Not every time. You can't always say Looks can be deceiving In many ways You gotta be careful And that's for sure Cause a bad person just might be A friend of yours What does a bad person act like? Does he lie and cheat? Does he steal? Does he make you run away by the things that he might say? Is he always trying to make a special deal? Not every time. You can't always say. Looks can be deceiving in many ways. You gotta be careful. That's for sure Cause a bad person just might be Cause a bad person just might be Yes, a bad person just might be A friend of yours Remember It's okay to say the important things to remember. Sometimes it's okay to say no to an adult. Kids have rights too. No one has the right to make you feel weird. If you're not sure if a person is good or bad, ask your mom or dad. Don't walk alone. Try to walk with friends. Always tell your parents where you're going. If someone asks you to keep a secret, tell your mom and dad. You don't have to keep secrets that are bad. Never talk to strangers. Learn how to say no loud and clear. Don't keep 
seekers that you know are bad. Don't keep secrets if they make you sad. Tell your folks about the things you do, because it's their job to take care of you. It's okay to say no. Go ahead and let your feelings show. It's okay to say no. Trust the way you feel and don't let go. You need to have a good kind of love. Don't be afraid to kiss and hug. But just make sure before you do that happiness will come back to you. It's okay to say no. Go ahead and let your feelings show. It's okay to say no. Go ahead and 